Hey guys, I'm back again and I'm here today to do my birthday book haul, at least the first one. So let's get started because I have a lot of books. The first one I have here is The Blindfold by Siri Usvet. Okay, now this book I was gifted by one of my favorite Norwegian WordPress bloggers, Celia. So I will link her blog below. Thank you, Celia, for sending me this book. Now, this book has a really interesting premise to it, a little bit surrealist or something, the way it speaks about it on the back. It says, Iris Vegan is a graduate student at Columbia University in New York whose vivid encounters with a series of strange and sometimes nameless characters are powerful enough to convince the reader that the world previously seen as normal has completely ceased to exist. Gripping a complex exploration of the nature of the self executed and polished and immediate prose. Okay, so yes, yeah, Celia sent me this one for my birthday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Celia, so sweet of you. She also sent me this one, which I'm really excited about, which is A Death in the Family. Okay, now this is by Carl Ovenosgaard. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is a book that is slowly but surely making some serious ground in the U.S. at the moment. And it is basically a memoir written in a more like a literary fiction kind of form but it is a memoir or autobiography of Nosgaard and this is the first volume and in this series there are six volumes the first one is called My Struggle so I hope to be getting to this one you know maybe at the end of the year or I don't know or at the beginning of next year but this one is a, it's, it's rising quite quickly. A lot of people are taking notice of this one. I want, they want to read this one. So thank you again, Celia, for this, for giving me these lovely books and all the other goodies you sent in, in the little package. Thank you so much. The next one was a gift from Stephen from Steve Reads Books. Now this is called The Dancing and the Death on Lemon Street. It is a beautiful edition and I saw this one when I was book browsing with Stephen in Paris at Shakespeare and Co. I ran across this one and immediately I became interested. This is written by an author whose name is Dennis Herson and he was born in 1951 and he I think is South African. This book takes, takes place in Johannesburg in 1960, if I understood correctly. So, yeah, this one I'm kind of interested to read. Apparently, Dennis Herson lived and taught in France. He taught at the École Polytechnique, which is similar to like MIT with, with the military French flavor. And yeah, he sounds like a really interesting person. He's written quite a few things. So I'm interested to get into this one as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, Stephen. The next two books I have are by J. California Cooper. And I have Homemade Love, which I will be coming to you with a review tomorrow. And I have Family. Now, both of these were were pitched by Kim Lachelle. This is her one of her favorite authors is J. J. California Cooper. And these were her two favorites, so I picked them up. Homemade Love is a series of short stories that are very interesting, which you will hear about tomorrow. And The Family is a novel. And let's see. It says the sort of book that ought to be read out loud, both eerie and saddening, filled with tragedy. It is also about survival in its strong rhythms and colloquial expression. The book is a living woman's monologue. 
So I will be getting to this one probably next month because it's it's fairly short read. It's only it's only 231 pages and the you know the typography is really quite large. So yeah, look out for that. Next, I picked up Stone Mattress, which is by Margaret Atwood, and this is a series of nine short stories. I hear that it has the ambiance of Alias Grace. Unfortunately, I haven't read Alias Grace. So if you've read The Stone Mattress, link down below and tell me if you think I should read Alias Grace to get into the mood of all this, because I'm not really sure. But it looks really interesting and not very many people have spoken about this one yet, so I don't know. But I hope to get to this one before the end of the year. Next, I picked up Erasure from um, Percival Everett. And I heard about this one from my girl Danielle over at One Small Paw. She spoke about this one and said that, you know, it was really, really good. And I had already read some reviews on this particular book where it was highly recommended as a really good read. I'm going to read a little bit of the back so you understand what it's about. It says Thelonious Monk Ellison's writing career has bottomed out. His latest manuscript has been rejected by 17 publishers which stings all the more because his previous novels have been critically acclaimed. He sees on the sidelines of the literary establishment as he watches the meteoric success of Weez, Weez Lives in the Ghetto, a first novel by a woman who once visited some relatives in Harlem for a couple of days. Meanwhile, Monk struggles with real family tragedies. His aged mother is fast succumbing to Alzheimer's and, the still grapple, and he still grapples with the reverberation of his father's suicide seven years before. So you see it has a lot of it seems to be one of those black humor type books. I didn't mean like black, but yeah, kind of about a bit of both of those black humor. Yeah, so it should be really interesting that one. I picked up Nosoki Shange's Some Sing, Some Cry. Okay, now this is a bit of a whopper, this one, but it is kind of an epic book that takes place between the period of the Harlem Renaissance and the Vietnam War. So very real life type novel. I'm not going to say anything more than that, but it is a big whopping like almost 600 pages I think. Fi 568 pages. But this is the kind of novel that I hope to get to during Christmas. It's like one of those curl up next to the fire with some nice hot tea and just read till you can't stop reading. Then I received from one of my very good friends this lovely Indian cookbook, which is just fantastic. Let me show you some of the things inside of here because I love Indian food. And she is friends with the woman who wrote the recipes for this book. And her the woman's name is Poonam. And Poonam lives in Paris and she does cooking courses uh, as well. So I'm going to try to get to some of these recipes. If I ever do, I'll let you know. I'll let you see something if I if I actually get a chance to make something. Then I picked up, well I didn't pick it up. It was a gift from my husband for me for my birthday and it's called Fatal. Okay, this it's a comic. So I'll let you see the inside a little bit so you can see. Okay. And basically this is written by, it's written by a French writer called Jean-Patrick Monchette. And Jean-Patrick Monchette was a very popular detective writer here in France. And this is, that's kind of a classic. So what I decided to do, since the, the comic is, a, is adapted from the novel. I decided to pick up the novel and here it is. I think I showed it to you. I was thinking about reading this for the 24-hour readathon, but in fact I decided not to go with this one. And here it is. Okay, now this is the Folio Policier edition. Uh, it costs 4 euros 50. It's so cheap. 
So I'm going to read this first and then I'm going to pick up this to see how they've really adapted it because I'm not so sure about that. But it's basically, it's about a, a female professional killer. Sounds cool. This one. And then my husband gave me, he gave me this Silex, Silex and the City. I don't know if you know this, this is really funny comic. This is number five, which is called Vigie Primat. Okay, which is kind of like a takeoff of Vigie Pirate in French, which is just like a term to, to, to describe when they have to give more police presence in public areas for certain reasons, for like fear of, you know, terrorist attacks, dangerous crowd movement and stuff like that. But it's very funny, this comic. Now, I've read one, two, and three. I have four, I don't know where it is, can't find it, so I'm gonna have to find it. And I might have to go and reread them all again so that I can then pick up here with, with book five. So I'll let you see what it looks like. Actually, you can watch Celex in the City on YouTube. The only problem is it's in French. Mm. So it's like this, but it's very humoristic. I don't know if you can I don't know if you can get this in English. You might be able to. If you can, I will link below a link if I can find Celex in the City in English. So that's the end of my first birthday book haul. I hope you enjoyed that. I like all of these books that, you know, that people have kind, so kindly given me and that I've actually purchased from uh, Amazon gift cards and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed it and you could find some things in here that you might be interested in reading as well. I will be back tomorrow with my review of Homemade Love.